Hi everybody, this is Jessica Rutia with Stamp a Blessing. I am coming today with a new challenge for the month of October 2017. I have a new challenge for you. Last month was make a wreath. This month is going to be make a quilt. Remember, we're supposed to focus on one thing at a time. Well, that's my plan and that's what I've been doing. I've been focusing per month in one thing. I'm going to be using everything that I have to create with that theme. And it was fabulous. So this month, we're going to go for quilt. And I'm particularly on this video going to show you three ways to use the new uh, Christmas quilt stamp set. You see it there in the Stamping Up um, holiday catalog. The Christmas quilt stamp set and the quilt builder framelits, okay? I wanna show you three ideas on this video. Yes, on this video, I'm gonna show you three ideas. Number one is the easy way. Number two is the easy plus or the mega easy. And number three is a bonus project. So come with me. You can fast forward if you want to. I'm fine with that, but meet me at the end because I'm going to have a giveaway for you and I want you to be able to participate, okay? It is exciting. I cannot wait to show you all the ideas that I've been having with this kit. So follow me, okay? Come on. You are invited. Follow me. We are going to make, or I'm going to show you how I created this card. And can you see particularly what I did dif different on this one than this one? In this card, I just used different colors. I, and then I put a, an embellishment right here on the side. It's one of the um, stitch felt embellishments uh, from this season. But on this other card that I can use for any other occasion, not only Christmas, um, I decided to create a pinwheel. I saw a quilt on Pinterest that I really, really Really like and I decided to create a pinwheel with it so I'm gonna show you what I did first if you see very well I use the metallic foil sheets is the silver one and I'm going to show you how I cut it with the die cutting machine and how I put it together okay so here's my bit shot and here's my piece of um, metallic foil I'm gonna put my my framelit right on top and I'm going to bring my other plate here put it on top and we will cut we'll make a nice loud noise but that is a good thing you know what I always like going to the other side so I haven't need to do it with this with this framelit at all but I'll put that on the side and here we have it now a good tip for you when you are making the framelit is to take your um, brush for all the die cuts Take your brush and your little spongy thing that now I'm not remembering the name. Put your quilt right on top. I'll leave this over here. Put your quilt right on top and then just brush with your brush on top of it. And that way all the little pieces will stay practically in place as you can see. Really easy to make. I love that little brush for anything like this. And in this case, I'm only going to need the frame for this card particularly, but you have all these little pieces that you can use later on in another quilt, okay? So I'll put it on the side and I will show you what I can do with this. And what I did in this occasion is that I already uh, cut um, another one of these in white and I cut another one of these on soft sky, which is the light gray that I'm using on this card as you can see is this light gray right here I already cut them so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue this I'm sorry you may not be able to see me very well so I'm going to glue this right in place and the way that I did this before was with glue dots I just went really really easy I put a few glue dots and you cannot see what I'm doing I need to move my hands a little bit forward I just put glue dots everywhere now in another one of my videos coming i'm going to show you a different way of doing this if you don't really like putting glue dots anywhere okay but so far i'm going to do it with glue dots okay now i am ready to glue right in place as you can see i'm just going to look and for this my quilt it is a two and three fourth of a quarter three fourth of, of, a, of an inch Oh, look at this. I never took that one out. So I cut my mat at, I think this one was two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. The mat, the 
basic gray mat, but there you have it. The next thing that I did, I actually put some of my tumble, you know, it's my favorite, and I put a little bit inside of each of these, right there, easy peasy lemon. And I'm gonna take all my little parts after putting the glue in place, and I'm just gonna position them where they belong so you can see my little pinwheel, okay? And this was inspired again by, um, a real quilt that I found on Pinterest. I thought it was really interesting. So now on this new one that I'm making, I decided to actually use the metallic foil, um, as you can see. Let me see if I have the right ones. There you go. And you know what? This takes a little bit of time. I am usually not a fan of trying um, new things like this. And this one is not the right one, so I'm gonna bring this one this way. Should be this one right here. But I am learning something new this month and I will share it with you at the end of the video and you will be inspired to try this again. Okay, so here's the card. That was not bad at all, right? It was really cute and I'm really finding joy in making this quilt card. So I hope you try it. Okay, are you ready for the second idea? Because this is the easiest way, okay? If you do not want to take the time to go step by step like I just did in the first part, then you do it this way. Follow me. This is super mega easy and don't forget the bonus one is coming. So here it is the mega easy way of making a quilt with the quilt builders framelits. You cut your framelit of the quilt, you cut another piece, the blue one soft sky is gonna be three inches by three inches and you cut the designer series paper that you actually like in the same size as, as your framelit, which is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. You put a little bit of glue on the back. In my case, I use my glue dots and I already took them off. And let me see if I'm doing this correctly. And we're just gonna put it on top. And if you don't believe me that this is an awesome way of doing this, I'm gonna show you an example right away, but this is a super cute way of making a a quilt without necessarily needing to deal with all the pieces. Check this out. What do you think of this idea? Isn't it cool? I use a different paper, more of fall colors because I'm really into fall and the, the seasons are changing. I decided to use the new um, quilt, uh, what is the name? Quilt top texture, um, texture embossing folder. And I just did the same thing I did in here. You see, you just put it on top. You could also cut it and put all the pieces together and it will look beautiful. Hello again, you are going to go, oh my goodness, with this idea. It is right there with what you have. This is my bonus project, so come on, do it with me. Don't forget the giveaway, it's coming, I'm gonna tell you. Here it is, here is the bonus idea. Don't you think that is the cutest pinwheel? Well, I, make, I made it with a Christmas um, quilt and also with a quilt builder frameless dies. Just like we did this one, but in this case, I cut and I just took my pinwheel out. So I wanna show you how I did that, okay? And the way I did it is I cut one more of the framelits, as you can see. I took my scissors, which are here somewhere, and I decided to just cut right here. I'm gonna move some things around so you can see what I'm doing. I cut there and I believe I cut here. Okay, and there I have one of my sides done. As you can see. And you, can you see it that I'm finishing here or just, just getting my, my pinwheel out? <laughs> I have two sides already here. And now I want, let me see, I have this one. Oh, wait, I have this one and this one. So I need to leave this four in here. So I'm gonna cut and cut, cut and cut. You just, after you do it the first time, it just it's just easy to see it, okay? But I wanted to give you this cool tip because now you can even make some birthday cards like I was making. Here you go, this is the last one some birthday cards for some friends with your pretty pinwheels. Isn't that nice? What I did is I put a glue dot on the back, I stamped my um, 
my quilt blocks is what I think they're called. And there's two different ones that come because they, they, they fit in different spots. Like this one fits in a pinwheel, like both of them fit in the same thing. And I took my scissors and I went ahead and I cut them very close to the line. I cut them like that. But one good hint is don't separate them. Just keep them together like this, okay, as you cut them. Like I did here, you'll see one here and you'll see the other. And I use Berry Burst and Melon Mambo. I'm going to take off this little glue dot from the center. And I'm going to try to position this one right here. Wait, let me do it. This one's almost falling apart. It seems as if I um, cut it way too close. Let me see where this one goes. Oh, you know what I did? I cut the wrong one. <laughs> oh, have mercy, Lord. I just made a blooper. Okay, we're going to have a white one. So I'm going to turn it the other way because apparently I'm just learning something new about my pinwheel. And my pinwheel doesn't always look the same. Like, the, both pinwheels don't have the same shape. So if you have... A pinwheel there. Oh, I forgot that I have to put another another glue dot. So let me find another glue dot. Blue part. But you know the idea. I think you, you're all very creative ladies here watching me. So I am excited to show you this. And I hope that you create some pinwheels, create some cool ideas. And this, this challenge is not just about creating quilts. You can create anything with sewing materials. Hey, there's my white pinwheel. Don't you like it? I'm going to need to fix that because I really want the color, but that would go there and it would look like this. And then I just added a little, little thing in there and look what I did in the, in the center. Isn't that cute? Very cute. I just stamp it and I put this and I put one of my enamels and, uh, and a little sentiment. I hope you liked it. I am so thankful that you joined me today. Thank you so much for watching. Even if you fast forward, that is totally fine. Sometimes you just go through it really quick, but hey, I want to invite you this month to cultivate something really special. The Lord has been speaking into my life through that Psalm 46 verse 10 that says, Be still and know that I am God. I absolutely love that verse. But the Lord has been challenging me because I am in moving season. I'm homeschooling. I'm doing 20 things at the same time. And he's calling me to a time of being still. So this week, I want you to take five minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you decide per day to cultivate being still. What can you do to be still? Could it be read a book for five minutes? Could it be to craft? Hello, we can craft for five, 10 minutes. Could it be to just lay, just stop, 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 drop, drop and roll. Remember that? From the firefighters, stop, drop, and roll. Sometimes you have to stop. You have to drop whatever it is that is getting your attention. You have to drop the phone, drop the TV, drop whatever it is. Don't drop your kids or your husband. You love them, right? But drop whatever is distracting you and then roll with God. Just roll to the other side and just say, okay, I'm ready to be still and know that you are the God of my life. Come on. Leave me a comment below, please, and tell me, how are you going to cultivate being still this month? I cannot wait for you to make a quilt to check the giveaway, which will be the Christmas quilt stamp set. Yes, I want to give you this Christmas quilt um, stamp set for you. I'm going to pick one person from everybody that participates, and I'll leave more information in my blog post today. So please go check it. Participate. Cultivate being still. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Give me some thumbs up, please. Leave me some comment. Lots of love. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you. Bye-bye.